Hello everyone, in this particular lecture, we are going to create our first dashboard in TIPCO Spotfire. So first of all, what I will do, I will open up this file, HR dataset file. So this is the dataset file which we have transformed. So I'm going to click this DXP format file. Uh, this is going to automatically open the TIPCO Spotfire. Now after that, I have to provide the login credentials. Uh, in order to login into my account so I will provide the email address and password here uh, next then I will have to provide my password in order to login into my account so after that once uh, the the login process has been completed look authentication has been successful now next this is going to open the uh, TIPCO Spotfire uh, GUI interface. So we are using this HR dataset which has the information of department name as well. So now this is going to log in into my account. Now, your data is ready. Start from data, select data of interest, and let us recommend the visualization. So, uh, this TIPCO Spot 5 user uh, visualization tool, based on, on your data set, can also recommend visualization, different types of visualization, uh, which, can, uh, which you can make from your data set. Select a visualization type and continue from there. Also, you can explore by searching search to explore your data and create visualization so what i will do i will instead so this is my complete data set go to the visualization select the visualization i will select the visualization type so which visualization type i want to select so first of all i will select uh, this visualization kpi chart so for first i will create the kpi chart visualization so now it is um automatically it has uh, this TIPCO Spotfire tool has created some visualization. Now, I want to change these visualization. I don't want to create this type of KPI charts. I want to provide, uh, I want to give some different information. So what I will do, I will right click, then I will go to the properties. So then I will go in the KPI section. Here I will remove this, remove this, and I'm going to create a new KPI. So what I will create, I will change this. Uh, let me just click. So instead of uh, this field, I will first select the employee ID. So this is going to give me the total number of employees. Let me just select employee ID, unique count. This is going to uh, take account of employees, number of employees. Okay. 325 employees data appearance uh, formatting now uh, journal number fine number of employees 325 then add another kpi the next kpi is going to be let me just check i want to know the monthly income average monthly income of an employee display name will be average monthly income after that go to the format so this should be displayed in the form of currency us dollar auto decimal it should be in two decimal points fine standard use the standard format fine this is my second kpi the first one is is the Okay, let me just change it. Here I have to change this, just remove this. I don't want this information. Okay, now the data has changed. Total number of employees, uh, 1470. Fine. After that, uh, let me just remove this. Just remove this. I don't want this information. Let me just add one more uh, KPI. Uh, let me change it to, okay. Uh, monthly rate average monthly rate monthly rate 
fine format has to be currency two decimal set it to two decimal points uh, I have to set it to this and what about currency okay fine US dollar let me just change the uh, this one settings go to the settings okay remove this just remove this fine average monthly rate okay now add one more kpi this is going to be the last kpi which i will add the last kpi will i want the job experience average job experience so remove this title by i don't want fine average job experience let me just change the name display name average job experience let me just job experience fine uh, average job experience I have to change it to if I change fine formatting custom Four, every job experience four. Now next, I'm going to change the color of this KPI chart. I will go to the properties. Then I will go to the fonts. Okay, appearance, KPIs, number of employees. Then go to the settings. Here I will go to the color section. I want to change the color. Let's change it to dark, this blue color, fine. Mm, okay, fine what about average monthly income i want to change the color of this average monthly income this is going to be let's change it to brown or let's change it to some other color maybe change it to this color now next i will change the color of monthly average monthly rate let's change it to some nice color uh, let's change it to this color or more color go to more color green color this one is going to be green color this is going to be color then I have to change it to let's change it to yellow dark yellow so these are my KPIs number of employees average monthly income average monthly rate average job experience next I will create the pie charts and then I will create this bar chart. Let me first create the bar chart. Where is the bar chart? Uh, this one is the bar chart. Select the bar chart option. Drag and drop here. Bar chart. So bar chart uh, I will select on the basis of on X axis I will select. What I will select? I will select the department. Select the department fine and remove this I don't want this instead I will select the department it has been selected on my y-axis I will select instead of this row number I will select the employee uh, ID distinct unique count employee count number of employees okay number of employees now what I want I want to have a color on the basis of department department should be of different color human resource department should be of different color manufacturing should be of different color so here I'm going to select color color by department so it is it will distinguish uh, departments now after that I will add one more field here so what I want number of employees um, now next field I will add the gender employee count by gender and by department so look here I will write employee count by gender and by department
so I will put the KPI section here and this one is here look human resource female has uh, 151 employees uh, and the male part has the how many employees 229 so this is how now what I want I also want uh, color by gender now gender I will select gender now human resource department then I further go down uh, to the gender part these two genders have different colors so this is how you create the bar chart uh, employee count by gender and by department now next I will add one more visualization here I will add the pie charts here two pie charts uh, this one let me put the pie chart here and this pie chart will give me two things uh, gender diversity and strength by marital status let me just uh, change the spelling marital status uh, color by let me just give uh, okay fine uh, divorced married and this one now I will add one more pie chart here this is automatically automatically giving the information tipco spot fire is intelligent enough to give the information okay now strength by marital status now the second one is going to be the gender gender diversification now i will choose the field here field i will choose gender 51 percent employees are female 48 percent employees are male now i will change the direction of this uh, dashboard okay look now I will change I will do some setting I don't want this information so what I will do I will right click properties uh, this information this is called legends legends doesn't look good here so I will go in the legends show legend if I want to display legend I can click this otherwise I can uncheck this option okay now let's say I want to display I don't want to display this let me just change it to this uh, legend part then I will uncheck this option color by okay I will select this okay let me just data table and hide this option color by let me just remove legends it doesn't look good so let me just remove it uh, all legends color by now it's okay let me just remove it show legend or, or or I can uncheck this option hide this legend part now uh, gender diversification edit uh, right click then the properties then you have to go size labels show sector percentage if you want to display in the form of percentage you will select this if you want to display in the form of percentage as well as the value you will select these two options let me just uncheck this option now it will select only values so let's display it in the form of percentage inside pi outside pi this is going to display me out, uh, outside the pi okay color you can display it in different colors for example this one is the blue color uh, I can change the color as well look this one I can change the visualization let's slow change it to this fine uh, category fixed okay then if the category is fi fixed then 
both uh, pies will have the same color let's categorize it now it will have different colors with percentage now uh, close this uh, no need to do some changes here I think this one looks good uh, okay sector size I need to remove this part sector size by average uh, how to remove it legend then you will have to go to the sector size uncheck this option this will be removed likewise you can do it from here properties legends then you can go to the sector size by uncheck this particular option if you display legend on the left side you can do it like this I will display it on the right side uh, I can also remove this uh, data table it, it doesn't look good uh, as far as I'm concerned uh, it's, it's a matter of choice if you if you want this you can do uh, you can check this option but I, I don't want this option data table I don't want to display this so I will uncheck this uncheck okay fine let me uncheck uh, of this option okay uh, data table uncheck this option fine so this is my uh, this is my uh, uh, dashboard now what I will do I will change the visualization I will go in the visualization section and I will go in the canvas style I want this is the light style if you want the dark star style you can select this option look this one is the dark style gender diversification strength by marital status KPI charts then I have the information employee count by gender and by department this is the editing se edit section edit mode let's look at the view mode so this one is the view mode lastly I will change I will give the name of this dashboard here let me just double click click HR summary dash board view so this is the dashboard we have created hope you understood the concept thank you so much and have a great learning